So I took the ACT the first time. I got like a 14 on it. I think you get like a 13 for signing your name. Yeah. So <laughs> BC obviously knew about my grades uh, in my senior year. And they're oh. like, yeah, look, like those test scores you got aren't going to be good enough to get you through clearinghouse. So you're going to have to take another test. Took another test. My scores jumped to a 24. Yeah, I got a 24. I called BC like, hey, like I got a 24 on ACT. I think that scores are good enough to get me to school. Like, yeah, that's great. But because of the significant jump in your scores, that ACT might question your scores. But if you don't hear anything, so we're good to go. Like, congratulations. You're accepted. It was like mid-May at this point. <laughs> ACT question my scores oh, so oh i write God. back a letter they're like you can either sign up and take a test in front of someone or you can write a letter saying well you did better Thank i wrote you. a letter <laughs> back to them saying well i did better this is i studied this 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 they denied it so i was at the point where like i have to take the next available test so i take the sat bc knows the whole situation was going yep. on you guys knew this is going to happen so i called them like hey i, I took the uh, sat i got a 1550 uh what do i do He's like those scores are good enough to get into school like we'll see you in october i get to school in september and uh, I remember I was doing classes, doing, did, you know, rookie initiation, all this stuff. Yeah, you're like you're with practicing the boys, with the boys, you know, yeah, yeah. Feeling comfortable at the school, and I got called off the ice one day, and, you know, what happened with your ACT scores? I was like, I told you guys this yeah, yeah. about this in May, about, you know, the significant jump, and I was like, okay, no problem. Another day goes by, I get called by my uh, coach there. He's like, what happened on your ACT yeah. scores? I was like, well, I just did better. He's like, no, I know you cheated. I was like, I didn't cheat. He's like, you cheated in a few sections. He's like, if you come forward and say you cheated, wow. like, we'll get you out of it. I was like, okay, I cheated on on a couple sections. All right, they're like, okay. Wait, no. wait, did you? Or? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I cheated. I cheated on the I did not on the SAT. ACT, I did. Yeah. And I was a young kid at the time. Stupid mistake, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? But so, like I said before, like my ACT and all those scores, those scores were in too late. So my plan was to redshirt at BC for the year, which sucked. Okay. But I was like, that's fine. But fine, like, I'll yeah. Yeah, you're in. I'll be able like, to practice the team. But in order to do that, NCAA was on board with it. BC admission, I had to go through BC admissions again. So I was in a meeting. It was me and Jerry York. I go in the meeting. It's like 8 a.m., kind of state my case like I was even there for more than five minutes and before i could even get 15 words out the guy was like you can't stay at this school and i was like wow dude. that's it i went back to my dorm room i packed my dorm room in an hour and so my transfer penalty was starting right away so right. i had to get a new school by january 2012 13 yep. that was my uh, freshman year so i transferred into umass january of 2013 and then I still had to go to the NCAA because they were hit me with, there's a transfer penalty, and then they hit me with the cheating penalty. So I got a year and a half suspension from the NCAA. God. So I sat out 2012-13. I practiced with UMass. 13-14, yep. sat out that whole year. And then the following year, 14-15, I played one year left and signed. <laughs> I didn't play hockey so. for two years. <laughs>